G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Ian and with Kimberly. And today we're going to minister to 10 people. So the first person I would like to minister to is Benice. Okay? Uh, so Benice, the Lord shows me uh, how the cats and dogs come from the doggy parlor and how all the hair has been cut and how they groomed and they look clean but they also look a, a little bit different. You know how cats and dogs are when they come from the doggy parlor. They... They didn't like it because they were not home and they were in a different environment and now that but they also excited to be back home. Okay. And I just felt that the Lord says He is bring change into your life. Uh, he's cutting off the old things, the, the things of the past, the things that you needed in the previous season, you know, uh, with the dog, they have a, a, a thick fur over the, the, the winter time, but then in the summertime it's time to cut it off. And so in the same way, the, th the Lord is just showing to me the things that you don't need of the previous season. He's cutting it off, He's helping you to simplify your life, and He's bringing a no new joy and a new step into your life. And just like that dogs, when they came back and said, oh, wow, we are back home again, I felt that the Lord is just bringing the familiar, the new back into your life, but also that excitement and that joy and that passion for God. God bless you. Okay, Mariana, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was of a bow and arrow, and the Lord is pulling you as the, uh, the bow to release you like an arrow. And I just feel that the tension feels a lot. It, it just feels the strain is much. And I just see how the Lord is patiently waiting for the correct time to launch you. Uh, so yes, it, it may feel that there's a lot of tension and pressure, but the Lord knows exactly what He's doing. He's in control. He says, don't care. I have calculated all of the, the risks and the factors so that you will be released at the right time, spot on. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for Ricky. Ricky, the, the, the Lord says that I want you to step out in faith and into His presence. The Lord says that, that that's going to take... It's going to take a lot for you to take the first step. But once you take the first step, the next one is easier and the next one and the next one and so on. But that first step is going to be hard. But the Lord says that you do not walk alone. That He has everything that you need in His presence, in His house. And when you invite His house to come and live in you, when you invite Him to come and live with, with you in your heart, then you have everything that you need. Be blessed. Hey, Ricky, God loves you very, very much. Okay, so Delani, uh, the Lord shows me that day when God took Adam and He put him into the Garden of Eden. And He said to Adam, I want you to tend and guard the garden. And I felt what the Lord was speaking to me is that the Lord has given you anointing to make money and He's given you anointing to protect your family. And so the Lord says, Son, now is the time to rise up, to have the Word of God on your mouth, to have that kingly anointing on your life to uh, build your business, to work hard, to make the money, but then also to protect your family. And I see how the enemy wants to open up a, a door and pry open a door to come into the family and bring destruction. But the Lord says, you can take authority. And even if your family is mad at you because you had to make your voice thick and tell them this is how it is. I just felt that the Lord says, take authority, take leadership, because it's, this is not just about them wanting to hear what you have to say. It's about you protecting them and taking responsibility for them. And so I just felt the Lord is picking you up today. And He says, take that mandate that I'm giving to you. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Betty, Betty, Renata. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. The picture that I saw was uh, in the old days in the post office, there was this post office lady uh, that normally stamped all of the envelopes. So it's like doof, 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 and she can go very fast. But I see the... Don't worry. Uh, the, what I saw was like the ink is dry. So a lot of the things were not processed. And it feels like there's almost like checks that is not being processed. Uh, and I feel that there's... Um, finances that is supposed to come to you but it is not yet the request has been put in but it's not yet processed and I just feel the Lord says just don't forget about it remind the Lord again and again pray about it again and again uh, con uh, so that you know that your connection with the Lord is secure but also that you see that this is processed be blessed Amen. Uh, please leave us a comment this next word is for uh, Mary Jane the Lord shows me these fish and how and how they are swimming and, and how they know exactly where they need to go. They know where they need to be. And I hear the Lord saying that that 
because when you are in my river, when you are living in my water, all things will be made known to you. I hear the Lord saying that when you come and dwell in his river and he is calling you to come and sit in the river of the Father. I see how the Lord is going to reveal to you. He's going to give you revelation and, and, and open up your eyes to, to what his, um, his, new, uh, his new order that he's bringing into your life. Be blessed. Hey, Mary Jane, uh, God bless you. Okay, so Frankie, uh, the Lord shows me how you're walking in a field and it's moonlight. So you know when you walk in the moonlight, if you know the road, it's fine. If you don't know the road, you can easily tumble over a rock or a bush and you can't see clearly. But I see how you are in this moonlight and you're going and you kind of know where you're going and you, and you go with that road. And then the sun starts to shine red on the horizon. And then the sun comes up and then you can see clearly where you're going. And I felt that the Lord says, son, you have chosen and you've chosen right. You've been obedient to my word, to my leading of my Holy Spirit, and you're going the way I want you to go. But you feel, I don't have clear vision. I don't know exactly how far I'm going, where I'm going, if it's going to work out. But the Lord says, Son, I'm with you. Even when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm with you. Even with this moonlight, this moonlight is a, is a reflection of the light of God. Although you've got limited vision, the Lord says the vision will increase. You will see clearly where you go. And then uh, I see by the time when you see clearly and you have vision, you're going to be able to take everyone else with you. Family members and friends and people that the Lord puts in your life. You're going to grow big enough. You're going to have enough resources that you're going to be able to accommodate them and take them with you on this vision that God has given to you. God bless you, Frankie. Uh, Hazel, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was uh, in the ground there was a, a jewel, a gem. And I just see how the Lord picked it up and it was you. And I see how the Lord is cleaning you and He says, this is your year to shine. This is your year that there's breakthrough, that there's... I see a massive advance. It's, it's a double what you normally advance. And I just see how the Lord says, you've been faithful, you've been working hard. And I just see how the Lord says, He loves you tremendously. He cares a lot about you. Uh, and you need to remind yourself about that when you go through a difficult time. Don't focus on the difficult circumstances. Just remind yourself that God loves you, He cares for you, uh, and that's going to help you to get through all of the difficult circumstances. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is from Mark. Mark, the Lord shows me how you are gripping so, so tightly. He says, do not let go to my word. Do not let go of my robe. Do not let go because the enemy is saying that this is not working. This is not good enough. This is getting you nowhere. You can just just leave it now because it's not working. The Lord says, no, that is a lie. The, the devil is a liar. Do not let go of the Lord's word and the promise that he has made to you, that he will take you out of where you are and put you in a place of where there is light and where there is love. And that is that is surrounded by His presence when you allow yourself to be surrounded by the Lord because the Lord is always, always around you. But you can choose whether you're going to step into His presence, step into His frequency. I hear the Lord is just playing these bass drums all around you, these speakers, to step into His frequency. There's a sound that the Lord has placed on your mouth that He wants you to release. Be blessed. Hey, Mark, uh, the Lord showed me an office chair. So this office chair is a fancy chair. It can go up and down. It, it can lean back a little bit. It's got five wheels on it. Uh, it can spin. Uh, and it's, it's just a nice, comfortable office chair. And the Lord said to me, that's your position of rulership that I've given to you. Mm. It's mobile. It can move. It's got five wheels. You know, if you have a chair with three or four wheels, then usually the chairs fall over easily. When it's got five chair, uh, wheels, it's very stable. And I just felt that the Lord is saying, I'm bringing that stability in your life. But I'm even giving you the movability. I'm giving you that position of authority. And so, but I saw the chair was just standing there and you're not sitting on it. And so the Lord says, son, this is today the time when I want you to take the authority that I've given to you. To sit on that principles of God. You know, when we talk about five, we talk, there's lots, so many things in the Bible about five. The five wise virgins. You know, the, the, the Pentecost, which means five. All right? uh, Jesus had the, the men sit in groups of 50 when he was supernaturally supplying to them. Uh, you can just look up in the Bible how many times there's five. But five every time means the supernatural provision of God. And I felt that the Lord wants you to sit 
in a position of authority and receive the provision he's giving to you. God bless you, Mark. So the next word is for Oriel. All right, so Oriel, the Lord showed me a, a brick factory and they were baking the bricks. Now I saw a house that you built and that is the ministry, that is the family. But the bricks that was used were clay bricks, but they were never baked. So those bricks were soft. If you pick them up, they just fall apart. All right, you know, you know if you make a clay brick, you have to put it in the oven where they, they burn that brick, they, they, they harden it uh, through baking it. And I felt that the Lord says, now you're going through the fire and you're being baked. And even the principles that, I've, uh, that I'm teaching you, those, those are being baked. And so now when you build the ministry, when you build the family, you're going to walk in the principles of God and what you build will stand. It will not fall because God's favor and his wisdom is upon your life. There's a scripture that says, by wisdom a house is established. And I just felt that the Lord says, I am establishing you in your life. And you're going to do great exploits for me. And do not worry about the past. I'm forgiving you. I'm washing you clean by the blood of Jesus. This is a new day. And you're going to go forward and you're going to build for me. But this time you're going to use the experience and the wisdom that I've given to you. And you're going to walk in the anointing of God. The Lord loves you very, very much. God bless you. Hi right, family, so we ministered to 10 people today. I want to encourage you, if you would like to receive ministry like this, write your name in the comments and I'll put you on the next list. And then when we come together to minister, we will also minister the word of the Lord to you. God loves you very, very much. God bless you.